here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Dixon and Dixon and all his reindeers pulling on the rain. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. It is day seven of Vlogmas and we have 18 days until Christmas. So today I'm in my elf pajamas. I think that's what is that what it's called? Do elves wear this? Anyway, I'm in my striped Christmas pajamas that I wore last year. I wanted to go to the Christmas tree farm today and go to Bath and Body Works and um, look at their new holiday scents or just their yearly holiday scents and try out some of those today. But after I finished the day six video, your girl fell asleep like all day. Like it was dark when I woke up and I finished it this morning. So I was like, dang, when did I fall asleep? I don't even remember going to sleep. But even if I was up, I ain't have no way to go to the Christmas tree farm or to Bath and Body Works anyway, so it wouldn't matter. But yeah, so instead today I'm going to be, um, I may try doing those lashes that I told y'all about yesterday. I was gonna try melting a synthetic wig today, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I might do that tomorrow. And I'm going to make these little apple pies that look like the McDonald's apple pies. I'm gonna make those. And yeah, but first, I'm finna eat. I just got a shower, did my skincare, all that good stuff. I'm finna eat breakfast at night. And that's my business, you know? Ain't no more breakfast at night. But I'm gonna be making my little breakfast burritos that I like to make. I'll show y'all how to do that. It's gonna be real quick. It ain't gonna be, you know, like super detailed. It, it's quick anyway to make. But yeah, it's real good. I use eggs, tomato, spinach, and Parmesan cheese in a tortilla. I usually put mushrooms in it also, but I'm out of mushrooms, so it's just a spinach, tomato, and cheese today in the eggs, two eggs. But I'm finna show y'all that. I don't even know why I'm telling y'all all these. I'm finna show y'all. But yeah, let's go eat, cause I'm hungry. <laughs> I ain't eat all day. Vlogmas has been wearing me out. Like I get like a few hours of sleep a day. Cause then I like, you know, I be filming and then I gotta edit. So I can have the next video up. I edit like during the night or like the next morning. So I can have the video up that I just filmed. So yeah, and after that I'm gonna get like a few hours of sleep. So, you know, I'm probably just wore out and I probably just knocked out from exhaustion and just been asleep all day. Cause literally like it was still morning. Like when I finished, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get an early start to the vlog. It's still morning. I was waiting for the vlog to upload so I could post it. Fell asleep, woke up, it was pitch black outside. Like, and not like, you know, cause I know it get dark at like five o'clock. It was past five o'clock. It was like eight when I got up. So yeah, your girl has been tired, but I'm gonna make this burrito. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna spray my pan. And then I just add my chopped up spinach. And I add my tomatoes. And then I add my two eggs, salt and pepper. I made this on my channel before actually, when I did like a morning routine or something like that. Yeah, I still eat these. And then I just place a tortilla on top, let it cook, and then I'm gonna flip it. Oh Lord, I didn't add my cheese. I add my cheese to the other side. But yeah, it's real easy, real quick. I also have some other stuff to do today on top of the stuff that I just told y'all I gotta do. Just gotta turn in some content. I gotta finish that and turn it in for the company. And I think that's it. Oh, and I gotta edit some Instagram pictures that I took as well for that company. So I took them like a week ago. I just ain't edited it. But yeah, another package that came today for my photo shoot. Vlogmas is not for the week, y'all. I'm just telling y'all now, which I knew what I was getting myself into when I signed up for it because I have filmed, edited, and posted in the same day before. And I only did it for one day. And it's only because I had to because the video was due that day or like the post was due that day or whatever. And it was hard to do it then. That was just for one day. So doing this for 25 days, I knew what I was getting myself into, but definitely not for the week. But I ain't no week out. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. But I like staying busy. I feel productive. I feel accomplished. So I'm kind of liking it anyway. Like actually filming every day, working every day since this is my job. So yeah. And I've been wanting to get into that type of routine anyway. Like I may work on content a couple days out of the week or a few days out of the week. But I just felt like I should be working on stuff every day. I don't know. Just putting more into it. The more you put into it, the more you get out. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I've been pretty consistent though on YouTube. Ever since I started my channel, I've been pretty consistent. But I want to do more. So yeah, I like it. I like vlogmas. I like vlogging. I like making this type of content. It's fun. I can't wait to do more vlogs, especially travel vlogs. I love travel vlogs. I don't know, it's just fun. I like, you know, having something to do every day and just being busy, being productive. So yeah, 
Anyway, this done cooled off yet so I can eat. I'm so hungry. I'm finna eat this. I always cut them in half when I make them. But yeah, I'm finna eat. I'm finna watch some YouTube. Bro, I have not been able to watch no videos or nothing. Like, none of my, watch none of my subscriptions, none of anybody else's vlogmas, videos. I literally haven't had time for nothing. So I'm finna do that while I eat. Because, yeah. Okay, y'all. My belly is full. So, let's go make these little pies. Okay, so first, we need two Granny Smith apples chopped up. I hope these apples are some good because I've been had these, like to make apple pie or whatever I'm gonna make with it. I just, I never used them, but they don't look bad. So hopefully they aren't, but we'll see when we cut them open. Oh yeah, they're still good. There's one apple. I got this little behind cutting board for this. Why? I don't know. Let me see if I can make it work. Then apple number two. Okay, we made it work. Can we move the core? I'm gonna just sit these on a paper plate when I chop them up until I need them. By the way, this recipe that I'm doing, I'm halving it twice, so quartering the recipe. So the measurement is going to be a little funny, but just pay attention. Like, of course, the original recipe, the measurements sound pretty normal. Yeah, just pay attention because I'm going to have to quarter the ingredients as well, the measurements for those. So it's going to sound a little weird, but just follow it. Yeah, I ain't doing no whole recipe because I've never made these before and I don't want to make a whole lot of them. So that's why I'm quartering it. Apples sure do last a long time because I know I don't have these apples in there for maybe two months. I've actually never had the McDonald's apple pies, but I saw this girl like remake them on TikTok, but I'm not following her recipe because it didn't sound right to me. So I'm gonna add more spices than she did because too much she'll use like two spices and I'm like, what kind of apple pie feeling is that? But I mean, everybody like they stuff different ways, but I'm not following her recipe for that reason. So I got the idea from her TikTok to remake a McDonald's apple pie, like how they look. I never had a McDonald's apple pie, so I don't know how they taste. So I can't compare that. Okay, that's all the apples chopped up. Like I said, I'm gonna just sit them on this paper plate so I need them. Now let's do our spices. I'm gonna just put them all on a cutting board as well. All right, so first thing we need is a third cup of sugar. But like I said, I'm quartering this recipe. So we need technically one twelfth cups of sugar, but who has one twelfth cup? Nobody. So I had to look up half of one third of a cup, which is two tablespoons and two teaspoons. But then I gotta have that. So you need one teaspoon and one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, are y'all following me for that? The rest of these measurements, I promise, will not be this complicated, but to quarter a third of a cup, you need a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of sugar. So there's one tablespoon of sugar and then the one teaspoon, okay? And then next, we will need, I'ma still read y'all the original recipe in case y'all wanna make more than me, but then I'ma read y'all the quartered measurement that i'm doing uh because like i said i'm quartering the recipe so next we need light brown sugar and the original recipe calls for half a cup but i'm quartering it so i need an eighth of a cup of light brown sugar so an eighth of a cup that would be the equivalent to one ounce on this cup that we have so this is a fourth cup right here which is the same thing as two ounces we need an eighth of a cup so one ounce of light brown sugar. I think one tablespoon is half an ounce, so two tablespoons should be one ounce. So if you don't wanna do one ounce or an eighth of a cup, I think you could do two tablespoons, but yeah. Then we need the original, calls for a tablespoon of cinnamon, but we'll do a quarter of a tablespoon, so one fourth. And I'ma just fill up this half tablespoon halfway cause I don't have no one fourth tablespoon. Next we need nutmeg, the full recipe calls for half a teaspoon so i'm gonna need an eighth of a teaspoon half a one fourth teaspoon i thought i had an eighth teaspoon too but i don't know where it's at so i'm just fill this guy up halfway i hope i'm not confusing y'all because i feel like i'm being confusing anyway nutmeg eighth of a teaspoon a pinch of salt put it right there I don't know how you quarter a pinch, but I guess just do a little less than a full pinch. I don't know. And then next we need cornstarch. So the full recipe is two tablespoons of cornstarch. To quarter it, that would be a half of a tablespoon. Of course, I can't do the liquids on this. And I believe that is all of our dry ingredients. So I'll add the liquid ones as we cook, which will be the lemon juice. The original recipe calls for one tablespoon of lemon juice. So 
I'm going to be using one fourth tablespoon of lemon juice and then you'll need apple cider or if you don't have that then water. The original recipe calls for half a cup of that so I'll be using an eighth of a cup of that. And then the last thing you'll need for the liquid ingredients is vanilla extract. The original calls for a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'll be using a quarter of a tablespoon, one fourth tablespoon. And that is everything that will go in the pan when we cook. So. Let's head over to cook these apples and make the filling. And then we just gotta fill up the, the puff pastry. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, so to this pan, we're gonna add some unsalted butter. It don't say how much, it just says unsalted butter. So I'm gonna just rub some around in there because I'm really not sure. I guess it's just enough to coat the bottom of the pan so the stuff don't stick. Okay, and then we can add our apples. Stir these around. Alright, now I'm going to dump in all of the dry ingredients that I just did. So, just going to scrape it off in there. Stir this around. And you really just cook this until it's like a thick, you know, pie filling consistency. I don't know how to explain it because it, you know. Just cook it down and let me go ahead and add in my wet ingredients so one tablespoon of lemon juice but i'll be using one fourth so i'm gonna just fill up my half tablespoon halfway okay then full recipe calls for like i said half a cup of apple cider or if you don't have that water so i'll be using an eighth of a cup of water because i don't have my apple cider which we discussed earlier is equivalent to one ounce on this little cup here very handy this little cup Eighth cup of water and then our vanilla extract which the full recipe calls for one tablespoon i'll be using one fourth so i'm filling up my half tablespoon again halfway all right and like i said we're just cooking this to it's a nice thick gooey filling consistency oh let me preheat the oven i'll show i'm preheating the oven preheating to 400 degrees it'll be ready by the time it's done and we prep the um, puff pastries all right y'all i would say this is pretty thick and gooey now as y'all can see it's sticking together you know you know what i'm saying pie filling y'all know so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it out and we can prep our pastries our puff pastries that we're gonna put them in so let's do that the oven is halfway done preheating so by the time we prep these pastries it should be ready it smells so good in here it smells so appley and festive and cinnamony christmasy i never made these before y'all so hopefully they come out real good i never even worked with puff pastries either so i don't know what i'm getting myself into so i'm not really sure okay so i'm just gonna cut it in little rectangles i guess um maybe cut it down the middle and this way or is that too short no i think that's good cut it down the middle this way and then do some strips so I'm just cutting this down the middle. Okay, cut right on through. Yeah, and then I guess I'll just do some. Is that too short? Nah, so I'll probably just cut it in three, I guess. I don't know y'all, I ain't never worked with these. That's a little crooked. <laughs> well, I'll just cut this down the middle. Okay, and then we just fill them up. I guess I did this right y'all, I don't know. But we need to make the egg wash for that. I'm just gonna mix one egg the egg wash one egg and like a tablespoon of water mix that up all right and that's our egg wash i'm gonna set that over there back to the pot grab the filling over here so i'll just scoop out some of the filling let me bring y'all y'all zoomed in let me zoom y'all in a little bit i don't know why i'm nervous i've never done this Oh, y'all heard the oven. The oven just went off. But I timed that pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to just scoop out some filling. And I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. But I'm going to put some on there. I don't even know how many this going to make either. Probably three. But I got more puff pastry, so. Y'all think that's enough? Or I'm putting too much? I just want you to be able to have enough in every bite. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be getting a mouthful of bread. Okay, my freaking light just died. Hold on, y'all. Okay, we back. I had to break out my big old ring light. Is that better? Is the ring light better lighting to y'all? Anyway, so now I'm gonna just take this little brush and some egg wash and brush it along the sides, all the edges. I didn't roll this out, and I think I was supposed to because I just watched the video of the girl using hers, and she rolled hers out a little bit. It don't look like it thinned it out that much, so we'll be all right like that. 
Okay, I'm going to take one of these other sheets and stretch over the top, stretch over the top of this. Like that. Cute. Oh, these going to be good. Okay, do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and that's what they should look like. In the video, she trimmed off the edges on hers. So, I'm going to do the same thing. Went like that. And same thing up here. All right. And then I just put some wax paper on this sheet. And I'm going to just lay these up here until we get to the end. We're not done. But I need them out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to prepare the other one. So basically me quartering the recipe makes three pies. And like I said, I don't want to make a whole lot because I've never made this before. So I don't want to do too many anyway. So I guess if you do a full recipe, you will make what? It's like 12 pies. So if you do the full recipe, which I read the measurements for the full recipe as well, you should get like 12 pies or more, depending on how much filling you put or less. Probably could have just half the recipe, but it was really fast to make. So if I want to make some more, ain't no problem. I need to do these edges too so they be clean and pretty and nice and cute. And let's put this one over here with the others. And then we cut the little slits in it. Okay, and then you take more egg wash and brush over the tops. Boom. Then you take some sugar granulated sugar, white sugar, whatever you want to call it, and sprinkle over the tops. Like that. And boom, we're ready to go in the oven. Okay, and we're gonna bake them at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and we'll be back. I'm excited. All right, 15 minutes are up, so let's check on them see if they're done Ooh, they look good they might could go for a little longer because they don't look brown enough yeah we'll leave them for just a little bit longer they getting there they getting all golden and pretty we're gonna leave them for a little bit longer okay let's check them now uh-huh now that's what i'm talking about look at that so i didn't do that so i didn't snap yeah stop playing yeah 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 get into it Get into it. So I would say 20 to 25 minutes in the oven, at least my oven anyway, to get them good and brown all over. But yeah, you can plate it up now, eat it with a little scoop of ice cream, some caramel. Let's do that. I would like to do that. Alright, let's taste it. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Don't say I ain't never put you on nothing. Don't never say I ain't did nothing for you. It really tastes just like the homemade apple pie I made last year. I'll insert a picture of her. That ice cream and caramel, cherry on top. And you gotta get the Ghirardelli caramel sauce. Don't get Smuckers or whoever that is. I think that's the name of the brand. That don't ever taste right to me for some reason. So get the Ghirardelli caramel sauce. Mm. Woo, that was good stuff. Okay, I think I might attempt to do those lashes now. I don't know, I really don't want to because what if it don't turn out right? Because see, I'm not getting like lash extensions anymore, like going to get them done. Because if you watch the Hawaii vlog, you will see how screwed up my eyes were when I got lash extensions. Never again. So I'm gonna do my own. I'll be seeing people do them on TikTok, and I don't think they use the same type of glue that lash techs use. I think I'm gonna try that because I wanna be a lash extension girly, but not if my eyeballs feeling like they finna fall right out my head and my eyes is on fire and I can't even blink or my eyes can't water when I yawn or nothing because it feels like somebody is pouring straight acid into my eyeballs. No, I'll do it myself. I think I'm gonna try and do that and then just put me a quick little press on set on. I'm gonna show y'all the nails. They real basic. I just been in the mood for some plain nails. 
probably gonna cut them down a little bit because I don't think I want them that long, but I do want them a little bit long. So yeah. Okay, I really don't know how to do this, y'all. But we're gonna see. I have, I got this from the beauty supply store. This individual eyelash adhesive by INV is the clear one, waterproof. So I got this and then I got the Ultra Black Not Free 2X Volume Lashes by INV. And I got a black glue as well, but I think I'm gonna use the clear one. This is the black glue. This is super strong hold eyelash adhesive. It's also by INV. Waterproof, safe on skin. Okay, they're both waterproof. It's a latex free, hypoallergenic. Maybe I should do this one then. Could this say hypoallergenic? and all that good stuff. So actually, I think we need the black one. And I got this from the beauty supply store. All this stuff is by INV. And I also got these precision lash applicator tweezers, also by INV. So I'm gonna just do like, I saw this other girl do on TikTok. She like washed her lashes first, like clean them. I'm gonna just use my lash shampoo that I had from when I got my lashes done. Hopefully that's okay because that was back in March. And I don't have one of those squeezy bottles with the little tube, the little skinny tip on it to rinse off with. So I'm just gonna use this water bottle that I just poked the hole in. Okay. Dang. Okay, <laughs> there's that part. Okay, this girl on TikTok applied it like up under her lashes like this. And then some people apply it to the actual lash. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And lash techs don't come from me, okay? I'm not a lash tech. I'm not trying to be all super professional and all that. So don't come for me with, you know, all of that. I'm gonna curl my lashes first. I'm just gonna apply some to the lash and i guess i'll put some on here too i don't know i'm scared she put it all up on the hill it was like boop 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 i'm gonna get close i don't even know if it's on there and then she was like clamp it when she get it on there clamp it so i'm clamping am i doing it is it on there i don't know i don't know okay my camera died when i did the next two but this is what i have so far i like it this is the type of lash extensions i be wanting anyway like really thin you know like i don't want them full or like thick i just want you know something a little something real real natural i'm gonna keep going and i just Okay, I think that's it. I wanna trim them down cause I don't like that they're like even all the way across. So I wanna like make them shorter as they go inward. Yeah, let me see. Don't mind my lace y'all. It's time for this weed to go. All right y'all, so this is how we're looking. It's okay, I guess. It came out well, but I just want, like cause all these lashes are the same length. So I want some lashes that come with different lengths so I can go from longest to shortest. So I don't have to cut and everything like that. But other than that, I feel like it looks pretty good. Natural, how I wanted it to be, nothing too crazy. As y'all can see, you know, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I like it. I just want some lashes with length so I have to cut it and it look all jagged and stuff. But yeah, I said I was gonna do my nails, but I don't want to. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow. So yeah, but I am gonna open this package because I did have another package come. So I'm gonna open that and that'll probably be it for today. So yeah. Okay. I got another package from Amazon. Aw, this is my little, oh, I don't think I can show y'all this one. I can show y'all a scarf. This is my scarf for my bear. So he can match with me. The plaid, plaid pajamas. So I got my little scarf. Let's let him try it on. Come on, sit up. See, now we can match with my plaid pajamas. Cute. And this other one, I cannot show y'all because it's for one of the big concepts that I told y'all I didn't want to spoil. So I can't show y'all this one, but I'm gonna look at it. It's so cute. I hope I look cute in it because some of them folks in the reviews was looking a little crazy. This is so cute. I can't wait to wear this one. It wasn't even nothing I planned on wearing. I just came across it when I was looking up different stuff on Amazon, like Christmas stuff. And this little outfit popped up and I was like, that is so cute. But yeah, that's all that came in my package today. I can't wait for this photo shoot vlog y'all so I can stop hiding stuff from y'all. So I want y'all to see it. But yeah, that is it 
for this video. That's it for Vlogmas Day 7. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Y'all been kicking it with me for a week now. Y'all ain't ready to go home yet? Y'all not sick of me? But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me again. I will see y'all tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 8. And yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.